Bruce Arians started the year by retiring, and the major adjustment has been going well so far, it's been fun. I don't set an alarm, he said, there are days I put my phone in my locker and forget about it. I haven't had a phone not on my hip since they were invented, I miss the relationships with all the players. The grind, not at all, the relationships he made over four decades of coaching were on display this weekend, as a fundraiser for his foundation served as a small reunion, the fifth annual Arizona Celebrity Golf Classic at the Whirlwind Golf Club in Chandler benefited the Arians Family Foundation. The organization works to end child abuse and supports court-appointed special advocates, CASA. The two-day event included a gala and concert on Friday and the golf tournament on Saturday. Last night was the best night ever, said Arian's wife Chris, excitedly on Saturday. It was really awesome, more, Bruce Arians deciding between two NFL analyst jobs Arians admitted he had been nervous about what the turnout would be like, as it was the event's first year after he retired from coaching. But on Saturday morning, he was floored at the support, I get teared up every time I think about it, he said Saturday, wearing a signature newsboy cap. I was a little worried this year, but we topped everything. We know the cause is what it is all about while totals were still being counted when they began to tee off, Arian said they had already set a record for donations, with estimates of more than $500,000 raised. The concert and tournament also had an eclectic mix of celebrities there to support the cause. After all, what other event can boast Blake Shelton, Andre Reid, Cedric Ceballos and Frankie Muniz on the same guest list? There was even a surprise appearance from a new coach in town, Arizona State football head coach Herm Edwards was on hand to support Arians, repeatedly shouting out, we go all the way back to Philly, as the two posed for pictures and hugged, he's a dear friend, a great friend, said Edwards, who was playing for the Philadelphia Eagles in the 1980s while Arians was the head coach at Temple University. I can lean on him, and that's what friends do. When I got the job, I got a call from Bruce Close. Bruce Arians discusses deciding between two NFL analyst jobs at the Arians Family Foundation's golf tournament in Chandler on Saturday. Edwards, who is not one to guard his thoughts, was not surprised about the positive turnout, it's about the man. He's made so many friends and so many relationships with guys, and that's why they're out here and they're supporting him and his charity, he said. The course at Wild Horse Pass was dotted with former Cardinals players and coaches, former quarterback Drew Stanton even spent his last full day in Arizona at the event before flying out to Cleveland on Sunday, I think it just shows his heart and his love for the Valley here, but also the support he gets from the surrounding community, Stanton said. You see the impact it's had, and even the impact on the team now that he's gone, that impact even outweighed the fact that a few celebrities there openly admitted that golf is not their forte, I can't golf. Former NBA player Andre Miller said, I'm about to go find some rental clubs, blend in with the guys I know and have a good time, but even Arians knew that golf wasn't the crux of the day. After setting a record in fundraising, he was able to focus on just having fun, if you can't have a good time, he said, a drink in hand, it's your own damn fault.